Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how a complete beginner can go from nothing to a scatter plot like this in Tableau using Google AI Studio. The live stream stuff is kind of amazing. It's got big implications for anybody building tutorials and teaching Tableau. Check it out. So I've got an AI Studio with multimodal live API with Gemini 2 on the right hand side and Tableau on the left. I'm going to share my whole screen so that we can record everything. That opens the microphone too. Hey there, can you see Tableau on the left-hand side of the window? Yes, I can see Tableau on the left side of the window. It appears to be a data visualization software. Uh, correct, I, I do know that. Uh, now, I wanna learn how to build a scatter plot though, so I'm not really that experienced in Tableau. Can you look at the data and give me some step-by-step -step instructions to create a scatter plot, please? Sure, I can help with that. You want to learn how to create a scatter plot in Tableau. First, drag the measure you want to plot on the horizontal axis to the columns shelf. Next, drag the measure you want to plot on the vertical axis to the rows shelf. Lastly, drag the dimension you want to use for detail into the marks card. Is there anything else I can help with? Uh, yeah, so which measures do you think would be best on the row and column shelves? Okay. Let's look at the data to decide on the best measures. Based on what I see in the folders on the left, maybe IMDB series rating and IMDB series number of votes would work well, as they seem like two numerical values that could show a relationship in a scatter plot. Would you like to use those? Uh, yeah, which one is best on the row shelf? Good question. I'd recommend putting IMDB series rating on the rows shelf and IMDB series number of votes on the column shelf. This way, the rating will be the vertical axis and number of votes the horizontal axis. Does that work for you? Yeah, that's great. So there's only one dot. So did you say I need to add a dimension to the mark shelf? Which one? Yes, you're right. To get more than one data point, you'll need to add a dimension to the marks card. Based on the folders on the left, you can try using series title. Try dragging that onto the marks card and see if that helps. Uh, should I click add all members? <clears throat> yes, click add all members. This will add the different series titles to your scatter plot and will give you multiple data points instead of just one. Wow, I've got it. Uh, okay, so ex what, what can I do to find out more or, or, or how can I use this now? Great, you've got your scatter plot. Now to analyze the data, you can hover over each circle to see the specific series title its rating, and oh, its yeah. number of votes. You could also use the filters to narrow down what you want to look at. Would you like to explore any specific aspect of the data? Uh, no, I'm good for now. Thanks very much. Just tell me, how can I make the title more engaging? All right, I can help you with that. To make the title more engaging, you can try adding a more descriptive name or adding a phrase that specifies the data that is shown. For example, you could call the scatterplot IMDB series ratings versus number of votes or IMDB series popularity. Would you like any other help? Uh, yeah, how do I do that? You can edit the title by double clicking on the sheet 10 inches title at the top of the view. Then you can type in the new title and click OK. Would um, you like me to walk you through that? Uh, well, I've double clicked. What, what, what should we call it? So what should we give it as a title? OK, how about IMDB series ratings versus number of votes? This title is clear and descriptive. And then do I click OK? Yes, click OK to apply the new title. All right, cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Not right now. OK, have a good day. So I have to say that's pretty impressive. That was actually the third take I did. Uh, it gets a little bit confused. I did try and filter out on votes and the instructions were there, but they were a bit they were a bit less successful. However, it literally taught me how to do a scatter plot in a way that was way more interactive than a tutorial video. So that's pretty exceptional advance in technology. What do you think? Have you tried using it on any of your own tools? Have you tried to learn Tableau using it? Uh, let me know.